Good morning. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 David now has to carry his own backpack. Not because he was told to, but because they he said... He was told to. He was told to. <laughs> ah! Loves the roof. So, we're getting ready to go to Grinnell Glacier Trail. I like the lens. Lemons? There you go. And do that hike. That's what we're doing today. Tomorrow, we were debating doing another one that kind of forks and it's a really long one as well yeah that one's like 14 miles all around today the one we're doing Grinnell is only like 12 it's 10 all around so yeah mm. I am wearing floralness because they said it's gonna be cold up there on the mountain and I'm like Let's wear some floral stuff. I finally get to wear jeans again because it's cold. Yay! Now it just needs to stay cold. Probably really oh, close it to my face. It needs to get warm again. <laughs> Everyone else apparently had trouble sleeping last night because it was so cold. And I was just like a baby, okay? I was out. I was so Sleep good. <laughs> I got it. I did it. I proved my worthiness. What Goodbye forever campsite. Goodbye all of their stuff. <laughs> I say all of their stuff because I'm bundled in next to all of my stuff. And no, there's that one bird with that's like got a white belly, is black, long tail feathers, and a couple of the tail feathers are like a really dark blue. And he's got a white stripe around his neck and his head is black. Really pretty bird. I want to know what he is. I suggested he might be kind of some, some kind of J. But we are off to the now. Hey. We were right. What? 46. What? Degrees. Degrees. Oh. <laughs> we said 45. Yep. They warmed up at degree 5 now. <laughs> that was a while when you said that. Yeah, okay, I guess so. Good job, everybody. Y'all guessed the temperature. Or I got many. A shin injury, bloody nose, a cut on my hand, a bruise on my thumb. What do you get? Someone landing right next to you. On me, also. Only one of those injuries was caused by me. <laughs> Using his knife to like carve on a little stick Not piece carve, of wood. I was trying to cut it in half. And it's really hard to cut wood in half when yeah. you're cutting away from so he decides to, I'm going to cut towards my hand, and he slices a little cut in the middle of his hand, and it starts bleeding, so I get him a band-aid. Later, as they're going to bed, he hops up to the top bunk, slams his shin into the wood side. <laughs> then after a couple minutes of, ow, he gets a bloody nose. <laughs> more like Wait, you cut your hand and you get a bloody nose? <laughs> There's something wrong with this picture. <laughs> no, 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 I cut my hand, and then later I hit my shin and got a bloody nose. Oh, okay. There's still something wrong with <laughs> We are heading up to Many Glacier right now. We're going to the Grinnell hike? Yes. Yeah. Further up the road, past the campsite, is where we got our glorious showers yesterday. It was great. Okay. Time to get dirty. Well, it's why I wore my pants. Now that you're clean, it's time to get dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Seems relatively calm. Be careful, dear, there's a bear nearby. My pace just got dictated by a deer. <laughs> trying not to press on me. I'm trying to just let me go. 
He is very aware of our presence. You can tell by looking at his ears. The deer is our spirit guide. This turned in from the Glen Eyre yeah. Glacier okay, Trail to the Deer Trail. Oh, okay. Well, he's still over there. I don't want to scare him off. Hi. See you later. I may have passed them, but I'm purposefully going slow so other people in the back don't start going faster. Let's get them off. Well, that was eventful. That was pretty cool. Along with that, it was actually a bear right off the trail, just a bit in front of us. The family that was in front of us actually, I want to say, saw it. And so, yeah. Oh, this That little so island down there. Edge right there. Look at that. Yeah, That's I really want to go in the cave down there. Maybe someday. I'm pretty sure that's the waterfall we're walking through later. Yeah. You're oh, right. it's so cold and glorious up here. They can't be all the way down there. No, they're coming up the path. Okay. Oh. He's a badger. I think it's a badger. Oh. Okay, I don't think what's up. I'm making noise. Hey there, buddy. I'm making noise so you know that I'm here. He seems pretty content. Yeah, that looks like a badger. I think. It's cool. I like my animals. This is good. We're almost up to the waterfall that goes over the trail. 
So you can either go around it really close to the edge or go through it. I already know I'm going through it. David says he's probably going to go around though. There's a lot of bear grass. This stuff with the light, is, that's the bear grass. socks are wet but it feels so good Lake. Ah. This glacier is the quenchiest. You want to go down there and put your feet in the lake? I know I should be looking at the glacier, and I am. But I'm too busy falling to my death and looking for rocks. Look at that. What kind of rock is that? I don't know. It's got green in it. Interesting. So, we, we did our thing, and now we're coming back. That middle lake, that mountain right on the other side of the ridge, a little bit past the end of that second lake is where we started. And then we're all the way up here. We got up here, got right to the lake. I sneeze twice and get a nosebleed. So, yep. I'm pretty sure I've spilled blood up there. We're heading back down now. It's 
so freaking nice to be going downhill. Oh, man. I get why, you know, that going downhill is bad for your knees and stuff, but if you, like, take shorter steps, basically the thing is you don't want your knees going out over your feet because then all that weight's being put on your knees. If you lift up, like, except for when you're going down a huge step like this or something, if you lift up before your knees go past your feet, it's still all in your upper muscles and stuff. So it's not as bad. Ah, <sighs> that's a picture. That's a really nice boat. We made it to the bottom, currently waiting for the boat to get here. Um, probably gonna have to take the second boat because there's a lot of people here. I uh, took off my shoes and went into the water. Felt fantastic. A lot of cool people come to this park. It's really, it's really awesome. So, it's really interesting. I am tired. Freaking fly! Landing on my freaking eyeball. Not cool. <coughs> I really, I just, I don't want to take a nap. I don't want to take a nap. But then everybody was like, oh, my ankle is not happy. My right ankle is my messed up ankle, and it's not happy. Going down was not fun for it. This is a view. One cup. Excuse me. Yeah. Can I ask you a favor? Can you take a photo of us? Sure. Yeah. That's a nice boat. It's a nice boat in a lake surrounded by mountains. Driver seems pretty cool. Look at that boat go. That's a good boat. Goodbye, boat. That's a nice boat. Five the truck. I'm tired. I am in my seat. I'm going to sleep now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not in yet. You're not in getting any help tonight. I'm not in yet. Oh, I'm, I'm not in yet. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> I'm going to eat my I hot dogs. And then I'm just yeah. going to take the coats to face. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> oh. I'm with you, Taylor. I like my lips cut.